what is the current immigration policy? Is that a fair question? As you so it, it depends on, so it, again, it's so vast. Like, are you coming over here as a tourist? Then you get a visa for I six see months. You get so, your, yeah. Okay. So and if what, you, come what, here to, you know, come here to work, you got to get a work, you got to have a passport and a okay. worker visa. I think what, what, what we want to talk about is like, hey, what's happening at the border right now? And why are we in this mess? Right. And I think we can, we can kind of walk through that because, because I think it's important for you and, and, and the audience to know, like to come to the United States, you have to have permission. And that's, starts with a passport mm -hmm. and a visa. Now there are so many types of visas from you know from entertainment to family to work mm -hmm. and, and it really just depends on what it is you're after. If you're coming here and you have a, a valid passport and you have a, a you want to be a, a, a tourist for six months, you get a tourist visa um, and you you get it stamped and you fly in or drive in, you come to the port of entry and, you, and you're free to move out the country for six months. If you overstay, then you could be re re deported. But most tourist visas are for six months. And right. in that window, you, you okay. come and go. So why do people not want to use the pathways, uh, the legal pathways to immigration? Like, it takes too much time. It's it's the, the line's so long. Ah. And that's when you hear people say the system is broken. It's because there's so many people in the system and the line to come in the right way is so long. I mean, for example, if, if you're a small business owner and you can't find the workforce you need to maintain your business, it would take you probably two years, about $10,000. You got to deal with about four federal agencies to try to get those employees. Meanwhile, if you're just a startup and you're trying to, to start things up, you could, you could lose business, lose that opportunity. It's so it's because it's so convoluted and so uh, uh, so long to wait. You I mean, if you need biz, if you need employees from right from out of, Mexico, out of, out of, out of country, anywhere. Oh, from anywhere Any, out of country, yeah, anywhere. Okay, uh, and so it de incentivizes because I'm, you know for a small company, say I got to spend this money and I may have to wait years to even get those employees, but I can hire this guy off the street now and nobody's asking any questions. That's why we've got to really clean up this mess, right? I see what you're saying. Let's there's we there's people that like they call it the death visa. They've waited for so long, like literally twenty or thirty years, to get over here oh. that they'll it, it just they it, they've got to really work on that. And I do believe that if we can come up with that wide gate, that clearer pathway, that will to some extent reduce the humanity that's coming in illegally, that's causing our security vulnerabilities. Yeah. And when you say like uh, people to being uh, being hired and, and businesses having to wait a long time, most of those businesses were just thinking like uh, labor type of yeah. work. Is that what we're saying? Probably, yeah. In most cases, but you still have you still have you know STEM type uh, uh, businesses where um, you know people have to you know there's there there was work visas established I think in the late sixties about one hundred forty four thousands of, of non immigrant work visas uh, a certain criteria, and that's not a lot of a lot of visas for people from, and, and every country has a bite at that 144,000, I think is the number. And that's still all we have? Yeah, they haven't changed it. It's what? 2024. Why? Are, I mean, and, and that I think is where the frustration lies when you is see- Is that true? That's how many work visas? Can you- Non-immigrant non -immigrant visas, uh, there is, a, 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 it's, I think it's around 140 something thousand. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And what does that mean, non-immigrant visas? They're not coming here to immigrate and stay. They're just here to work. Oh my right, gosh, that's right. so few. Yeah. Yeah, you, when you when you put that in perspective, how many people are getting caught and released into the country, and they're looking at, oh well, we want to give them work opportunities while they're waiting on their hearing, but yet you've had an, a quota established for over fifty years, and you haven't will, willing to change that. What about the poor people that have been waiting in line to get that work visa? What about the business owner that has been waiting his turn to to hire people? To, so right, it deters people from wanting to do it legally at a certain point. Spot on. 